Hello and welcome to our video summarising all you need to know about a separate piece by John Knowles. This video is really useful, particularly if you're studying a separate piece as part of your coursework or your exams. And we summarise the context as well as the plot and the key characters that you should be aware of and the themes. Now, when it comes to context, the first thing to be aware of is about the author himself, John Knowles. So he was born in 1926 in West Virginia and he attended Exeter Academy in New Hampshire, which is a really famous boarding school. He joined the Air Force after graduating, then he went on to Yale. So already, if you read about his background, you find that he really comes from that elite group of individuals with whom he writes about in the novel. He enjoyed boarding school life and he has stressed that he portrays the novel to show some of the darker themes of humanity. However, he does wish for an overall nostalgic view to be held towards the school. Now, when it comes to the novel itself, we discover Jean Forrester, who's one of the key characters, and he is a quiet student at Devon School in New Hampshire in the US. He becomes friend with his mischievous roommate, Finney, and Finney convinces Jean to jump from a tree into the river and the two start a special club based on this dare. Jean soon becomes jealous of Finney's athletic abilities as he is a great swimmer. Jean thinks Finney is really jealous of Jean's academic achievements and he thinks Finney is trying to distract him. We find as the novel progresses that Jean discovers that Finney doesn't feel that way at all and he genuinely hopes for both their friendship to succeed as well as for Jean to succeed. Then they go and jump off the large and tall tree and when Finney jumps, Jean's knees collapse which make the branch shake and this causes Finney to fall and break his leg. This is a key and crucial turning point in the novel because this is when we learn that the doctor after Finney is hospitalized tells him that his athletic days are over. Now remember Finney was a really athletically talented one of the two and now this is completely over and Jean feels extremely guilty because Jean was really jealous about this initially. Jean then goes to Finney's house and tries to admit his guilt, but Finney will not hear it. He doesn't blame him. This teaches us that Finney is incredibly innocent, but also incredibly forgiving. Many of the boys in the boarding school that they go to are enlisting into the military. Remember that this book, in terms of the time it's set, is set in World War II. So this is happening, but quite far away from the boarding school. However, this war still encroaches on their very quiet and very comfortable lives and many of the boys who do enlist in the military join the fight. Brinker Hadley, who's a classmate, asks Jean to enlist with him and Finney then returns to school and we find that once Finney returns to school, Jean, who initially was toying with the idea of enlisting, decides not to do so. Finney also tells him that he wanted to be in the 1944 Olympics and he convinces Jean to train in his place because Finney can no longer train for the Olympics. Leper Le Pellier is a gentle boy and another one of the boarders who go to the same school as Jean and Finney and he does enlist in the army. We then learn of a telegram that arrives months later for Jean saying that Leper has escaped from the army and he needs Jean to come to his house. Jean then goes to meet Leper and visit him at his home and he finds that he's gone mad. We find that he's suffering some form of mental instability and possibly post-traumatic stress as a result of the Second World War and all the things that he's seen. Jean, disturbed, then goes back to school and he's spooked by what the war has done to this boy and he tells the others about it. We find that his innocence is really coming at an end as are many of the other boys' innocence. Brinker is very suspicious of Finney's accident and he decides to set up a tribunal of boys to hear from Finney and Jean. Finney declares that he really doesn't care whose fault it is and Leper appears and says that it's Jean's fault. Finney leaves, but in his rush, to f he falls on the stairs and breaks his leg again. Finney is admitted to hospital and then Jean does sneak into the hospital to see Finney, but then Finney sends him away. Jean goes to Finney again and he again takes full responsibility for all that has happened to Finney, particularly with the loss of his athletic ambitions and the two do make up. 
Tiffany then undergoes a leg operation and he's accidentally killed. The rest of the boys graduate and then they decide to go off to the army and Jean reflects on the enmity which he had in his heart and how his friends seemed to really never suffer from this. In fact, his friend was quite the opposite. He wished the best of everybody around him, including Jean. Now, when it comes to the key characters, the first and the main protagonist who sets this whole novel off into motion is Jean Forrester. We learn that this novel is written in a very retrospective way because initially it's Jean who we meet and he's much older. However, when he visits his old school, we then learn about his memories. He tells a story and we learn that he's really insecure even as an adult and is really haunted by what happened uh, between him and Finney and also between uh, the other students particularly when the world war was raging. We're led to believe that he almost wants to be Finney as he is so jealous of him. Finney's the other key character and he's athletic friendly and really understanding. He's mischievous and he really likes having innocent fun and he really brings out a cheerful and happy side in Jean. He always sees the best in people and he never notices Jean's anger and jealousy towards him. In terms of the themes, the first is of identity. This is a coming of age book, which means it really deals with many of the issues children face as they grow, particularly as they transition from early teen years, so this is 11 and 12, to their real teenage years and they develop into adolescence and off onwards and the loss of identity and the loss of innocence that goes with this. Gene struggles with his own identity because of his jealousy towards his friend and once Finney can no longer swim, Gene takes, try, t- tries to take over his identity by training him to swim in the Olympics. The dependence means the boys will never really grow their own ambition and Gene is left with the loss of identity again when Finney dies. The other important theme is the inner enemy. So conflict really frames this book and it's all around even when it's not obvious. So World War II is really raging and the boys often talk about enlisting. So even if they're in the comfortable surroundings of a boarding school, the effects of war are never too far away. Knowles deals with the idea of an inner enemy, that our enemy is not on the opposite side of the battlefield, but really the enemy that we battle often and every day is within us and within all men. And this is really shown primarily through the character of Jean. Humans start war and destruction, but this really stems for the, from their own inner demons. Jean fights his own inner enemy in his irrational jealousy for Finney, and this causes him to do horrible things. In terms of analysis, One of the key symbols is the seasons. So this story covers the summer and winter term at school. And the summer term symbolizes the carefree ways of childhood. The boys do play really merrily and they seem to be really innocent. However, Finney's fall comes right before the winter term begins, which is really important in terms of pathetic fallacy. And the winter term symbolizes the boys going into the hard and difficult reality of adulthood, which is really rudely shown through the Second World War. Finney's fall is another important symbol. So his fall is symbolic from the fall of innocence and it also parallels the story of Adam and Eve falling from innocence and into sin. And Finney doesn't mean anything bad towards Jean and Jean's own jealousy is really what causes the fall and all its consequences. Jean only realises what he's done and the magnitude of it afterwards and this event really strips away his innocence and shows him the devastating consequences his actions can have. So that's all. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more revision videos and resources. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for listening.